Everything's gonna be fine. We'll keep an eye on her. And what about you, though? Are you okay? That thing about men who cheat being cursed? Apparently, it's related to those mysterious deaths. You mean, like how Paul died? Yeah. Or it is, this is getting called the Woman's Wrath. <laughs> Sounds like something Erica would like to have. Hey, Paul's been here a few times, right? Yeah, he was a classmate of ours back in high school. I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault, man. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Maybe if I'd talked to Paul more, this wouldn't have happened. You got a mail. You can take your phone out to check it by pressing the X button. You can also save images and messages. filed a police report, yeah? Guess we'll hear something sooner or later. Worst case, we'll just let her stick around here. Don't even think about making a move on her, all right? Ha, <laughs> you're one to talk. You got your own shit to figure out first. You seriously okay, man? They say men who cheat get cursed. Curse? That's so stupid, I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> the timing's too good. Still, I can't believe you cheated. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? Maybe so, but... <laughs> well, good luck keeping it a secret. Bad or beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. If I took a shot every time she hit a wrong note... <laughs> That's a deal breaker for me, no matter how cute she is. Anyway, you and Catherine have been together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just want to know for reference. <laughs> it wasn't anything special. It was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself, right? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed, after all. Hey, stop that. A stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. <laughs> Seriously. You're really sensitive, aren't you? You don't look it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up. Well, she's a bit cold, but Catherine's a good girl. You don't have to tell me that. You got a mail. your intoxication level up to three times. How drunk Vincent gets corresponds to how fast he moves that night in his nightmare. Oh, shit. I've never cheated in my life before. <sighs> Cheating, huh? It's not like I can just apologize for it and everything will be fine. This 
sudden, but here is some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. Rum is made from the sugar cane grown in the Caribbean. Other popular cocktails that feature rum include the Mai Tai, the Mojito, and the Pina Colada. How about pairing a nice cocktail with a juicy steak? That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty already? Hey, can I get a drink? Understood. Here you go. Uh, uh, uh Ren, I didn't order wine. It looks really expensive. The full-bodied stuff. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about wine for those who are enjoying Catherine full body. Unlike white wine, red wine isn't categorized as sweet or dry. To express the richness of a red wine, it is described by likening it to the shape of a woman's body. Light, medium, and full. Hmm. I wonder what a full body looks like. And that was the trivia for tonight. Please enjoy a variety of alcoholic drinks and learn more trivia facts. Rin, that wine is for another customer. Oh? Sorry, I made a mistake. Oh, don't worry about it. But please let me know if there's anything else you'd like to order. What would you like to order? I'll try sake. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Okay. Thank you for waiting. Whew. No use worrying about it now. You just have to accept it as a one-time screw. I'm glad Rin's doing okay, but her performance is still... Well... Mm. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about sake for you, as you seem to have finished your cup. Daiginjo and Honjozo are two of the many varieties of sake a brand produces. Do you know what differentiates one type from another? The differences in the varieties of sake can be attributed to the degree of polishing the rice undergoes during the brewing process. Daiginjo contains the highest amount of polished rice, followed by Ginjo and Honjozo. Junmai is produced without using brewer's alcohol. Compared to the average polishing ratio of 90%, a minimum of 50% of the rice must be polished away to classify a sake as Daiginjo. So much is forsaken to acquire such an exquisite taste. Be sure to drink every last drop. And that was the sake trivia for tonight. Empty already? What would you like? No thanks, I'll pass. change the background music in the bar. The selections of songs will increase as you progress through the story. Try them out.
today either. Time will slowly pass each time you sit and talk to people. Have fun with the other bar patrons. Over time, the people and the conversation topics will change. Some customers are experiencing difficulties. Try to cheer them up when you can. You can go home at any time from the door in the front. Employing a pianist, huh? I guess this bar's ranked up. Listen, Archie, you've got to become a better man. I don't know how you're ranking it, but I'm not desperate to climb the social ladder. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like Ivy, always climbing. Then let me introduce you. This is Todd, and this is Archie. Are you on your way home from the office? Or not? You're not wearing a suit. Suit? Oh, I don't have that kind of job. That's a shame. You're not one of our customers, then. What do you mean? We make business suits. Haven't you ever heard of Bantam suits? Have you heard the jingle? You'll be the cock of the walk in a Bantam. Oh, you're from Catherine's company. Hey, I think I've heard your voice before. Huh? Have we met? I wonder. Todd's a hard guy to forget. His hair looks like a rooster, doesn't it? That's enough cock a doodle out of you. Oh, uh... Wow, you're sharp. Oh, sorry. But, well, whatever. I like my women like I like my blankets. Replaced by a maid every morning. What on earth are you talking about? You got a mail. but I feel like I wasn't even involved with it. Well, you were. I hate to be so confrontational, but jeez. Men who cheat are cursed. If that rumor's real, what are you gonna do? Nothing, because it's not real. I think Catherine started dating you because she just couldn't leave you alone. You're stupid in all the right ways. It tickles her maternal instincts. A dominant, independent personality like hers is usually attracted to minds like yours. Is that the way it is? Just don't be a bad influence, okay? Rin's no child, but still, I've never seen someone so innocent. I feel like I need to step up and be Mama Erica. You're not filling me with confidence here. everyone here each night and I'm really excited to play the piano at a place with such an adorable name like the stray sheep well, don't thank me thank Erica oh no wait actually it was boss who hired you um so I heard that you're getting married well I don't know about that we have been together quite a while though I see Rin, do you have any idea who was chasing you? No, not really. It was all so sudden. But everything's calmed down now, so it's fine. Uh, I guess. Well, we're all here for you, so let us know if you need anything. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Oh, uh, sorry for staring. <laughs> Please sit. Have you 
never heard this story before? The man who climbs the highest mountain gets his every wish granted. What's that? It said a man climbed that mountain 300 years ago and was given a fortune. It said a man climbed that mountain 700 years ago and was given the world. A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do it as he pleases. Is this a fairy tale or something? These are true stories. The story of Rapunzel is based on this true story. A prince who was able to climb a very tall tower gained his princess. Now, what will you gain? Huh? Will you become the man of legends? You got a mail. Morgan will like that piano. I wonder if that piano will bless Mr. Morgan. It's time for us to say you got a mail. Good night. See you tomorrow. Check this out somewhere where no one can see. torture chamber. I wonder what kind of punishment will be waiting for you. Huh? What's this? Hidden shelf? There's something inside. What are these... Glasses? I guess I'll try them on. If you ever wish to take those naughty glasses on or off, make your way to the bar's restroom. Have fun. Take a leak. Hey, uh, is it true Orlando's divorced? Huh? Y you didn't know? He got married while he was pretty young. He lost a lot of money in some scam. His wife left him. He pretends not to mind, but I think it still gets to him sometimes. Even when his wife calls him, he... Huh? huh? What do you mean? Um, well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Time? I should be heading home soon. Wow. Is it that late already? I guess we're done today. Uh, it's late. Anyway, I can't hurt her anymore. Yo, Vincent, we're leaving now. You're not going home yet? Uh, well, I think I'll stay and drink a little more. to avoid the inevitable. <laughs> You'll have to pay for your sins. Did I, did I just hear something? <laughs> Yay, you're here! That voice. Why are you here? I thought you'd be here around this time. 
just like last night. Uh, not yesterday. I don't really remember that much. And actually, I... Oh, hey! Do you want me to wake up early tomorrow and make you breakfast? What do you want to eat? I'm a pretty good cook. No! Huh? Why not? N not today, I mean. More than today. Just... I, I can't. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> I'm going to the restroom. No. No more. No more cheating. Okay! Boom! Why are you... You were taking forever uh, and I got worried. Oh, well, I'll see you... Huh? Uh... You can't leave me now! We finally have a moment to ourselves! Oh! 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 no! I'm all wet! Like it? Uh, I'll go get a towel. <laughs> Glasses are too much. Oh, the one on her left wrist? Yeah, I hear strange noises coming from it sometimes. Almost like it's talking. Maybe it's some newfangled radio. Oh, I'm so curious. I can't even focus on work. Oh, what else is new? You'd better straighten things out soon. You guys are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. Yeah, I wonder if the woman's wrath rumor I heard about from Erica is real. She said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this, too? Whatever. Still, she really rags on you, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self-conceit. Uh, to wrangle the words of a certain someone. Uh, but tell me, do I look vain or otherwise untoward? I don't know, but in Erica's case, it's a bit different. I cannot deny that I look upon Rin with a certain male gaze. Regardless, let's both try to avoid any curses and deaths. <laughs> 
shall we? Quite a few customers come here just to see Erica, which is great for business. And now we have Rin. Hmm. <laughs> I guess you can have too much of a good thing. You'd better straighten things out soon. You guys are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. Hey, can't I come over? It's just bad. I, if someone saw us like this, I... Why are you acting all embarrassed? You want to leave right now, then? J just... no. All right. Hey, can't... It's just bad. J 